Jenna, we've got Carla, and the beautiful Shauna Rosenblum Hi guys. of Rockwall Wine. We're here today celebrating Urban Sip, and Shauna's going to tell us a little bit about what that means and what it means to be an urban winery. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you so much for having me on the program. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, so yeah, we're here in Alameda, California, not generally the location you would find a winery, but um, we're on the old Alameda Naval Air Base, and uh, as you can see behind us, we are in a 20,000 square foot old airplane hangar where they used to paint planes. Yeah, we're an urban winery and our million dollar view is not vines, it's the city. Shana, what are the biggest uh, challenges you find being a woman in this industry? It's amazing to be a female winemaker. We have different palettes than a lot of men have. Um, you know, scientists often say that women's palettes are more sophisticated and can actually pick up more flavors and more aromas than male palettes. As Marguerite Mondavi once told me, who's been doing the cooking since the dawn of time? Women. We know what tastes good, okay? So uh, making wine is sort of synonymous with cooking or you know just anything that tastes good making flavors come together I am the winemaker um, I make 64 different wines that uh, get blended down into 34 different wines total it's a labor of love it's you know I'm I'm in love with every single wine I make they're my babies they're you know it's like I talk to them I sing to them it's you know if it's a holiday I wish them happy holidays <laughs> like it's it really goes down it's like you know um, but you have to, you have to be overprotective and you have to be sort of a freak show about making the wine if you're the winemaker because everything has to be clean. And it's, you know, it's ultimately like you're putting your energy into something that people are gonna consume. And if you put good energy into it, people are gonna feel good energy when they drink the wine. And if people are feeling good energy when they drink the wine, then they're gonna buy the wine and there's just gonna be a good vibe about the building. And that's sort of what we're going for, you know, just having fun. Absolutely. So can you tell me a little bit about, I know you've got some interesting varietals yeah. coming up that, you know, different than the standard. Tell us a little bit about that, Shauna. I've always sort of been the champion of like underdog or the lesser known varietals. Um, so stuff like Terraldigo, Tanat, Sangiovese, Montepulciano, all kinds of fun sort of old world varietals, like stuff you'd find in Italy, France, Spain, all over the place. We're sort of finding growing around California and making all California wines based on fruit that is grown originally in Europe. And it gives us the opportunity to make California centric wines, but sort of reference the old world as well. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how your father might have influenced your winemaking and your love for wine. Everything I know about winemaking I learned from my dad. Um, you know, started in the winery at a very, very young age, like, you know, barely able to walk but was able to smell and sip and taste. Um, it was never something that my parents made as taboo. You know, wine was always something that accentuated cuisine, it accentuated flavors, and they were always encouraging me to smell it, taste it, try it, comment on it. What do you taste? What don't you like about it? What do you like about it? Well, my dad probably wouldn't have pioneered a lot of the sort of random Italian varieties. A lot of times because he wanted wines to be big and dark and bold, and stuff like Sangiovese and Montepulciano, well, it looks like that, you know? It looks, it looks sort of wimpy. But if you blend it with some some other stuff, you know, I mean, it's it's got just as much value as anything that you know is big and bold like Petit Sirah is in. So yeah, Dad's definitely my number one influence in my winemaking. He's awesome, super chill. He's like the best guy ever. We always have fun stuff going on around here. Um, so what's today is the 26th of April. We're doing Urban Sip. Um, so coming up in a few weeks, we're going to be doing Mother Trucker, which is a celebration for Mother's Day, and. Um, so bring the kids, bring your mom, bring your neighbor, bring your cousin from Benicia, whatever you want to do, bring them on down. Kids are always welcome to come to the tasting room, bring their scooters, bring their bikes, whatever. Mom and dad can drink and eat and they can run amok and not bother you. Show mom a good time, you know? After all, you are the reason she drinks, right? <laughs> come see us and uh, let's have some fun. Cheers.